Supermarket shopping carts usually look simple, but they hide tons of secrets. They often shake when moving and sometimes even make loud clinking noises. But that's not because they're old or of bad quality. This is a psychological trick. The faster you walk, the louder the noise the cart makes. Trying to produce as little noise as you can, you start walking more slowly. And, of course, you can't but pay attention to all that yummy stuff on the shelves. And if some of it ends up in your cart, well, you can't blame yourself, right? Another trick supermarkets use to make you buy more is the size of carts. They're usually extra large, and you'll subconsciously take more products to fill all that space. Now, have you ever noticed that shopping cart wheels often wobble? Even worse, there's almost always that one wobbly wheel that makes it impossible to steer the cart, and you have to go back to switch it. Shopping carts have caster wheels. Those are mounted on the bottom of large objects so that you can move them around more easily. But over time, casters develop flutter. It causes the wheel to swivel back and forth. This is kinda inconvenient since such flutter can make your cart move in an unwanted direction. Interestingly, flutters are less likely to occur when you're moving slowly. So, can it be that supermarkets don't repair fluttering wheels because they want customers to move around at a more leisurely pace? Just a thought. The black lines on the basketball make it easier to use. They're actually grooves helping you to handle the ball. And since players need to move around the court while bouncing the ball, control is crucial. Those pebbled dots that cover the outside of the ball serve the same purpose. Do you have an eye for detail? Then you might have noticed a strange looking notch at the bottom of some plastic bottles. It's called a deco lug, and it helps to indicate the placement of a bottle sticker or some artwork. Without it, stickers on mass-produced plastic bottles won't look as pretty and symmetrical as they usually do. Most plastic coffee cup lids have a tiny hole in them. When you take a sip from a cup closed with a lid, the air pressure inside the cup drops. And some air from the outside tries to push into the cup. The tiny hole in the lid allows the air to enter. It also helps the liquid go out of the main, bigger hole more smoothly. Plus, the smaller hole acts as an exit for steam gathering inside the cup, which prevents the lid from melting. Those of you who have a ceiling fan, do you know it can move in more than one direction? One mode is for the summer, the other for the winter. When the weather is hot, ceiling fans should move counterclockwise. This makes them pull the warm air up and push the cold air down and the clockwise winter mode pushes the warm air down and helps the cool air rise. Do you still use a knife to remove strawberry stems? But this way, you throw away a lot of the stuff you could otherwise eat. Instead of a knife, try a regular drinking straw. Insert one end of the straw into the bottom of the strawberry and push it gently all the way through. The straw will pop the stem out. A little groove on the bottom of a cup lets cool air get underneath it, which saves the glass or ceramics from cracking when a scorching beverage heats it up. And when you place cups upside down in the dishwasher, the groove stops water from gathering in the cup's bottoms. A button on the back of a collar of a button-down shirt is there to prevent your tie from sticking out. And the small loop on the back can be used to hang the shirt without wrinkling it. Barcode readers scan not black, but white lines. The reader emits rays of light that fall on the product's barcode. When it happens, the white areas reflect this light, while the dark zones absorb it. The reflected light helps the device to read the code and give you some information about the product. White is the most popular color for painting aircraft. It reflects sunlight most effectively, and planes don't heat up too much. All kinds of cracks or dents are much more visible on the white background. It means issues can be spotted and repaired as fast as possible. And finally, it costs less to buy white-colored airplanes because it's the color they have at birth. Some keyboards come with little legs. Thanks to them, you can tilt your keyboard and see which keys you're hitting. But keep in mind that a flat keyboard doesn't make your wrist so tired. And if you can touch type, you don't need to look at the keyboard anyway. Let's say you're driving on a highway. 
when it's time to make an exit, pay attention to highway signs. If the sign for your destination is on the left, your exit will be on the left too, and vice versa. You might have noticed that the sides of some cotton pads have different textures. One surface is firmer and more absorbent. It's supposed to be used with nail polish remover. The other side is way finer and softer. You can use it to remove makeup. You often see that cups on small tubes are hollow on top with a little spike inside. The purpose of this spike is to break the foil sticker sealing the tube. The neck of the tube fits right in the hole and the spike breaks the seal. No need to struggle trying to tear the tiny foil seal off with your fingers or even your teeth. The hole near the rim of your bathroom sink is there to prevent overflows. Thanks to it, all excess water goes into the siphon. Plus, it helps your sink drain faster. The hole gives air gathered in the siphon room to escape. Let's say you're reading a paper book, but when you decide to take a break, you realize you don't have a bookmark. Is leaving a dog ear your only choice? Nope, that's what the dust jacket is for. Turns out, providing you with the information about the book and its author isn't its only purpose. Most kitchen shears have metal plier-like teeth in the middle, between the handle grips. They can help you crack nuts, crab shells, and other tough products. You can also open jars and bottles or remove herb stems with their help. The bubbles in your soda push the straw up, but you can keep it from rising by pushing it through the hole in the metal pull ring. The correct way to break off a piece of Toblerone chocolate bar is by pushing the pointy side inwards towards the rest of the bar. Bottles have long necks so that your drink stays cool longer. Hold the neck, not the bottle itself, and your drink won't warm up. Place a wooden spoon across the top of a pot with pasta. It'll prevent the bubbles from escaping. Once they touch the spoon's water-repelling surface, they'll immediately retreat back into the pot. If you turn over a Tupperware container, you'll see lots of symbols. They'll inform you whether the container is dishwasher, microwave, or freezer safe. You're also likely to find out how you should recycle the thing. The black grate on microwaves is called a Faraday shield. It keeps the electromagnetic energy inside the device. The grate also speeds up the heating process, and it can block phone signals too. If you don't remember which side of your car the gas tank is on, check the fuel gauge on the dashboard. There must be a little gas pump with an arrow pointing to the left or right. It indicates the side you should choose before pulling up towards the pump. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.